welcome Dr. Ben Ji Zhang, Professor, National Taiwan University. The topic is establishment of Western to resources supply chain for low carbon economy. Let's welcome Dr. Jiang. Thank you very much for your introduction. And uh, Deputy Minister, uh, Dr. Ye, and uh, Professor Chu, and uh, all the distinguished guests from abroad uh, for the global dispense. Okay, it's my great pleasure to present our recent uh, research work in this particular area. As uh, Dr. Ye mentioned about the environment education, see how the government uh, spent the effort to develop the sustainable development concept and sell to the general public. And uh, Professor Chu gave the example, let us know how we can calculate the marginal benefits and how we can do the cost-effect uh, analysis to find what would be the more the optimal solution to deal with the conflict in interest issues. So as an engineer and the professor, I just try to give some examples, see how the government and scholar and also the industrial representative to overcome those barriers. So I'm going to present some information to share with all of you. So first, first of all, probably we can tell you about the concept, the definition about the eco-industrial park. And also I try to give you the main components in the industrial, uh, eco-industrial park. See how the government spend the time and effort to provide the platform to let the industrial uh, representative to join this uh, network system. And finally, I give you two examples. One would be in the Ginghai uh, Industrial Park. The other one would be in the Taoyuan Industrial Park. See how the, uh, the benefit we can gain from the industry side. So obviously, this is a very simple uh, statement has been suggested by the US EPA. So we can see the community of manufacturing and the service business that's kind of the industries. They are really looking for how the law and how the methods they can enhance the environment and the economic benefit and the performance. So we can see that uh, the business, you know, the sixth the collective benefits, that is great than the sum of the individual benefits. So that's why they want to join together in this uh, eco-industrial park. As the lobbyist is uh, one of the senior professor in Cornell University also, he mentioned about uh, this definition. So we can see that several uh, major industries could be occur in the eco-industrial park. For example, there's recycling business, you know, the cluster, and uh, they have some environmental technology companies. And the sign of the company, they really curry about the green industry, as they produce the green products and so on. So at least I believe all the industries in the eco-industrial park, they should be environmental friendly. They have some you know, software and some infrastructure to meet the requirement has been suggested by the EIP. So you can see at the moment we have probably over 200 industrial park around the world. So i just give you one example which will be very highly uh, you know, appreciated by all the environmentalists. This is the Columbus Park. Okay? So you can see that probably 10 different industries in this club. And the, each of the, the waste generated from the industries, from this industry, could be utilized as another the feedstock for others you know, the, the industry. So this is like, like the food chain systems in the eco-industrial park. So this is a very, uh, they have an outstanding performance has been revealed in this uh, eco-industrial park. And also the Danish the government, they spent uh, 40 years, you know, looking for the sustainable energy policies. So during the 1970s, they care about the energy security. In the 10 years later, they focus on how they can have their energies independently by their government, by their country. Then they worry about the pollution problem and also the greenhouse gas issues. 
so that almost spent the 40 years to develop this energy supply structures so we can make really <coughs> benefits see how the combined heating power systems can uh, can achieve the sustainable development goal so this is one of the examples we can see they're using the biomass to generate produce so-called the green fuel pellet so they have several advantages as you can see here they can have reduce the transport cost. They can utilize all the biomass bio as a waste, can be recovered, convert as a bio core. So they can have lots of benefits we can you know, in, investigate throughout the heat regions. Okay, this is another example in Sweden. So they can utilize all the different the, the bio waste generated from the animal waste, from the kitchen house, from the sewage system systems, the so-called sludge, through series of the union process. So we can generate the methanol, the biogas, and as the uh, utilized for the uh, transport fuel, and the some of the solid waste can be converted as the fertilizer to using for the agricultural field. So you can see they can use it lots of the different techniques that can convert the bio waste to generate be a very helpful use for the product used in the different area okay so this is another example of, you know presented in, in, in japan they call it eco town so they have lots of the, the techniques they can uh, recover several different type of the waste throughout the, the, the industrial park so career government, they have been very ambitious you know, to develop the EIP. So they set up the master plan starting from 2005 to 2020. So they have three years. The law map has been fully developed by their, the Ministry of Economic Affairs and the, the Ministry of Environment. And the recently, the China the government, they just pro, you know, uh, announced their national standard to guide the EPA, uh, to, to guide the EIP on, uh, in the year 2006. So as you can imagine, that there are several the major uh, eco-industrial park has been uh, implemented, has been controlled in the, in the major city. So of course we can see there's lots of the benefits we can obtain throughout the development of the EIP province in the different country. So that's the, uh, you know, the benefits we can obtain throughout from the environmental aspect. That's that, uh, you know, also we can get some benefit from, from the economic and the social aspect. So, and recently in Taiwan, we have the six you know, EIP has been fully developed by the EPA and also MOE. So I'm going to give two examples. One is in the Kaohsiung area, and the other one was in the, in the Taoyuan. So I think we have to figure out what will be the target and the green industries which have been you know, quite be, you know, uh, recommend and suggested to be seek to move to the eco-industrial park. So first of all, we are looking for so-called green uh, industry, uh, cleaner production technology, and the second day will be interested in, in those technology or those uh, industries that really can recover those waste as the resources. Okay. And the last one, and, and the third one, see how the technology they can convert the waste as uh, resources. So that's the one of the the, the, the you know the subjects I try to present to you lately. And uh, the, the fourth one will be regarding the emerging and the, the strategic environmental technology and so on. So we have lots of the, 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 you know, the targets that green industries has been, uh, you know, has been selected uh, by, the, uh, by the review committee. Okay. So, and lately we have the government to set up the, the platform throughout the serious uh, process. So first of all, we have to figure out the supply demand side. So this is so-called fundamental the basic uh, you know, uh, inventory studies in order to uh, see how we can get the benefit throughout this uh, uh, networking system being developed. And the secondly, we need to do some preliminary you know, calculations to figure out uh, the, the benefits which we can obtain through that working systems. So once 
we fund those the target industries. If they have a such outstanding performance, we try to promote those concept and those example to others, uh, to others industries. So this is the three step. So once again, I give you some more detailed uh, uh, information. See how we can work this. So we just follow the, the carbon dioxide the, the issues. So we ask how the industries they really try to present their general information in order to, to meet the NRVs in you know, the guidelines. So this is very important, especially for the carbon dioxide emission in you know, order to make reasonable uh, you know, the regulation and the standards you know, which we can encourage the industries, the uh, representative and the other target industries, they want to uh, you know, move to the uh, eco-industrial path. So this is the, and also we, as a professor, we organize the attacking assistance team to help the, to educate the, the industries, they uh, provide some technologies and let them how can uh, calculate the benefit. You know? so the, and uh, this is the, the second step. You know, we have funded the target uh, industries, and uh, we also the visit uh, industries, and uh, we also invited the foreign experts to join uh, with them. Sometimes they will tell the lessons and the barriers, see how they can overcome this. So usually we arrange the annual meetings you know, to check their performance. So this is a very good uh, approach to let the industries they can share with their lessons and experience. Okay. So finally, so during the end of the, the years, we may find the several uh, successful so industries. So we asked the manager to present some uh, awards to those uh, target industries as a benchmark and share their experience we can promote to other industries. So before we try to do this as a researcher, the federal, so we have to help the government to set up the some uh, so-called context the diagrams. So this is kind of a database. Okay, so that's a platform. So we can provide lots of information on the platform, and this is the indicators. We uh, all the indicators being set up from the aspect of environment and the economic and the social. So currently we have about 22 indicators uh, based on those database. So we're also doing some statistic analysis, uh, try to look their uh, performance has been improved. Uh, so this is, uh, we can see all the detailed information through the uh, life cycle assess assessment studies. So this is the, uh, the, the process and the, this is the information. We have the MOE to set up this. Okay, so uh, then, uh, last week, uh, I'm going to give the two examples to show what we have done throughout this uh, research work, and also we appreciate the major industries like the China Steel and the China uh, Petroleum uh, uh, CPC as uh, the major industries that really contribute lots, you know, in this industrial park. So this is give you some figures and the ideas, uh, see how is the size of the uh, industries and to see how many employment, how many uh, laborers you know, uh, working in this industrial park. So this is the China Steel Corporation. And uh, as you give you one example, see this is the, the raw materials should be fit in in the China Steel Corporation uh, the manufacturing systems. And that this is the, the, the product has been uh, generated and produced through one terms of steel. And obviously they have lots of uh, energy consumption, have lots of uh, uh, air pollution emissions and some wastewater uh, being produced uh, throughout the systems. So as you can see, if we link with the uh, different uh, industry around the CSC, so they really can enjoy the waste which has been generated from the China Steel Company. So just give you one example, this is the slab, you know, typically you know, from the China Steel you know, uh, Corporation. So they can, through the serious uh, uh, unit process, they can convert to a very useful constructing materials for other purpose use. And this is another example, indicates the sludge and the coal ash as a dust throughout the dust system can be used as raw material feedstock for some cement industries. And that is another example from generated from the axis. Okay, they can convert it as uh, iron oxide 
powder, which is magnetic materials using be utilized in the highly uh, you know industries. And so this is statistical you know data indicate the uh, economic benefits. So we can see we can gain about two billion you know uh, anti dollars in a year. So we can see there's a great amount of the uh, this uh, CO two has been uh, reduced through the you know serious uh, uh, projects. So you can see there's a result in the year two thousand eight. Okay. So there's another example shown in the Taoyuan. So this is the paper pumping industries. So they can see those are the water, there's a power and some steam, and the uh, methane has been generated throughout this comprehensive the sewage water treatment systems. So this can this is a typical example we see the waste can be converted to resources in the paper pumping industries. And this is one example see the insulation plants. So they can use the RDF is a rescue derived fuel uh, can be utilized as a feedstock to this uh, uh, insulation plant. So this is the benefit we can gain to, uh, from the aspect of the environment uh, and the economic effect. And uh, okay, this is another, uh, you know, the biogas has been received, has been produced throughout the uh, waste, uh, wastewater treatment plant. So this is, again, again, we can see the benefits throughout the system. And that this is the manufacturing process for the RDF. We can see lots of the environmental economic benefits has been obtained by uh, you know in this uh, eco industrial park because they have some uh, uh, industries uh, technologies you know been generated been produced by the company. So in conclusion of my presentation, I just give you some some uh, some uh, performance uh, since 1919. Okay, so this is kind of. 20 years in you know, the efforts. So as I remember in the 1919, we talk about the media. So all the pollution we have to be considered you know, from the different uh, the media, such as the uh, water, air, and the soil. But uh, in the 2010, we consider the multimedia approach. So that's we consider care about the industrial uh, ecology in a concept. So of course, in the in the recently, we have to pay much attention to the green design in the product, green supply, the chain, and the CSR, and the so on. So this is the 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 the, the, the concept you know, really you know being uh, meet the general requirement has been suggested by our regional sustainable development guideline. Okay, and once again, we try to use this information we uh, obtained from the Danish government. Okay. So the the Kobe is one of the major uh, energy consulting firm in Danish. So they have uh, well experience uh, in deal with the sustainable energy development policy. So last the uh, last the, the benchmark they have been reached uh, throughout the, uh, their their effort. So I believe they have a strict uh, strategic energy planning. Uh, they really have the good the technologies then they can optimize and the, to enhance the energy efficiency in the building or in the industries. So this is the very uh, good information has been provided by the Danish government, by the Kobe company. So once again, we just uh, try to follow Dr. Yes, you know, ministers uh, mentioned about the education. So the engineering uh, education should be based on the green engineering and the sustainable technology. So I believe those are courses. So we have been, been working very hard, try to be you know, write a good uh, the, the, the textbook and the handouts, try to educate all engineering uh, students. They have to know the design for your mind and the risk assessment. And the consequently, we have to know some uh, some, some, some economic you know, study and uh, to ask all my students they have to know how to do in some cost effective solution. So this is, uh, I believe, this is good uh, sustainable development education. So I believe the MOE, EPA, and also Ministry of Education, the government uh, officer, will really work very hard for the past year. So once again, thank you very much for your invitation to let me to report our recent progress to share with us, with, with all of you. Thank you very much for your attention.